My favorite part of... Whoa. This is a really wide angle lens. Too many cars in the driveway, bro. But today we're taking the Beamer. It's starting to get a little bit cold and chilly here in Detroit, but like today it's like a solid like 50 degrees. Like it's not too bad. To sum things up you guys, today's not about any of these cars. It's about the Mercedes, which if you guys follow the channel very closely, you know that the Mercedes is usually in this bay right here in the third bay of the garage. And it's currently being occupied by the Mitsubishi and some presents. So this is gonna be the giveaway car. As a lot of you guys may know, my deadline has been picked. I haven't announced the deadline yet on the last day to enter for the giveaway. Um, but just know it has been picked. Not the winner, but the deadline. So stay tuned. So if you want to enter the giveaway, you can go over to shopchristinaroki.com. If you want to win a pink car, the pink mitts car. Very good. <laughs> and in the other two bays of the garage, I'm currently looking at something very special, pretty cool, that Christina's currently working on, and I don't think she's announced it yet, it's so. A it's a surprise. We're gonna keep it on the down low. But we're about to take the E46, which is the next project car on the list. Right after we're done with the headliner today, uh, we're gonna be starting on this car, which I'm so excited about. Is this the last interior mod you're doing? It is. Oh my god! It is, dude. So you're like done for the season. Yeah, I'm very. Car. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It's, the car's totally finished. Basically, we're done with the with the car. That's so crazy. Now we're about to work on this one right here. Let's head over to the shop. Let's go. Uh, into the dungeon. That's not scary at all. We can't get very far without this right here. This is the headliner that we're gonna be putting on the car. Now we can go to the shop. Boom. Just like that, we're at Vet Lab. Detroit. Is it Vet Lab Detroit or is it just Vet Lab? It's Vet Lab. It's just Vet Lab. Okay, that's embarrassing. Boom, here she is, ladies and gentlemen, the SL550 that uh, we converted. Here's my little spiel. As you guys know, we recently redid the exterior of this car and now we're focusing on the interior. Oh, the battery is dying. You can see the lights flickering. Look at that, look at that, look at that. So far we have done the floor projection logo. We did a LED swap on the interior. We did floor mats, we did vents, we did seat belts, we did a steering wheel. We did like everything you can think of to the interior of this car. And last on the list is the headliner, which is obviously what we're doing today. Now, Christina has done a headliner before, hence the reason I dragged her along with me. She converted her headliner on her Nissan Frontier to Alcantara slash suede. I, I don't really know if this is considered Alcantara. I think it's considered suede, if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, bro, it's low key. It's been a minute. It's been a minute for what? Dang, the <laughs> shiny ass forehead. For what? I mean, um, since we've like filmed together. I know, we've been so busy. It's like on our season. own projects. Like yeah. we've been busy on our own projects. And it's just you, season. bro, I don't even think you guys remember who this is. So this is Christina. <laughs> it's my girlfriend. We're, we're a joint YouTube channel. We build cars together. <laughs> this is the other half of the channel right here. <laughs> That's the other half that, that is not present lately. It's just Grant. Yeah, it should just and be Grant. Grant and Grant. <laughs> Grant and Grant. That's it. That's the new channel name. Um, let's get a cold start if it starts. I think the battery's dead on it. Christina is getting right into work here and I just want to kind of go over this with you guys. We're going to focus on this front section here, so the A pillars as well as the mirrors and some of the stuff overhead. Then we're going to actually have to work on the whole convertible section. So we're going to have to put the convertible halfway up and start disassembling everything from the windshield back. Um, and then we also have to disassemble this stuff and paint all of this because we can't wrap that in Alcantara. But anyways, we're going to dive right in and uh, get to work. Why do you know more than me? I was like, what is this? It's like, I thought it was cracked. I thought it was going bad. It's for business cards and stuff. I didn't even know that. We started disassembling everything from the front of the car to the back. Started off with the trim pieces, such as this overhead dome light and the mirror assembly, which were probably the most difficult parts since there were wires involved. Then we popped off the A-pillar and the overhead headliner. From here, I ended up putting the convertible top about halfway up so that we could focus on the main components of the headliner, which wasn't too hard as there was just a few screws and clips to pop out of place. Accessing the back of the car was a bit more difficult, but I was able to get the few trim pieces out of there as well. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, all of the trim has been removed. The back end was definitely a little bit challenging, um, but we were able to figure that out together. I'm not gonna lie though, with the rest of it, Christina. Christina came in clutch. 
she did a lot of the work, but I don't want to openly admit that in front of her. And I'm just hoping that she's not going to watch this video with me on the couch once I post it. Anyways, here is all the trim. I don't feel like staying here till 3 a.m. So we're going to take it home in the BMW. While we are on the subject, a little shout out to Vet Lab uh, slash Performance Lab for uh, being open arms and always letting us come here to work on our builds. They specialize in, well, I guess you could say Corvettes, but I mean, they have Hellcats, they have Challengers, they have Camaros. Um, and they also do a lot of Ford stuff as well. So if you are in the Detroit area or not, and you just want to ship your car out here to get built and be super duper fast, then you know where to go. Let's go ask Christina. Let's like interrogate her. It's like an interrogation room because check this out. Like you can't see, all we see is ourselves, but you come on the other side and you can just see right through all the cars. We're going to interrogate you real quick. So what? are your thoughts on the interior so far? How do you think I did? I love the shifter. I think it's very unique. Um, you're, actually, you're not being honest enough. No, I've never seen anything like it. Um, like that type of shifter. Um, what threw me off and I still don't like it is the mats. Floor mats, yeah. They're so bad. What? I like them. But everything else looks great. And I but love the steering wheel. The steering wheel is so good. The floor mats though. You like the gold stitching. You just don't like. No. I don't like any of it. Really? I don't like any of it. Well, there you have it. I knew she wouldn't like She's never liked Diamond Switch formats. I, I told you guys when I installed them, I don't either, but they low key like look amazing with the accent, just slight little bit of yellow slash gold. It just complements the interior so nicely, in my opinion. However, let's load up the trunk of the BMW and get going home. I haven't had anything to eat today. I'm so hungry, let's eat. To the house? To the house. You look so <laughs> You look so funny. Okay, let's go. Let's actually get food. I'm hungry. I'm pretty hungry. Yeah, let's, let's go. Eat, let's eat some food. You're paying for it, right? Bro thinks I'm rich. We took these trim pieces home to mask sand and then clean them to prep them for some paint. After a few light coats of paint, they turned out really good. Alright, you guys, I just finished spray painting all of the little trim pieces that we're not going to be wrapping in the fabric. I'm just waiting on them to dry at this point. I am feeling a little bit like under the weather. Yesterday was my birthday, just turned 23 years old. And I woke up this morning, I think I just had too much to eat or something I ate yesterday really upset my stomach. So I've just been taking it easy and yeah, right now we are about to start on this. We have the uh, suede fabric right here and we're going to be working on all of the rest of the trim pieces. Christina is currently working on this right here. The fireplace used to be this warm tone and she's currently putting these overlays on top of it. And it already looks like a million times better if you ask me. Um, but yeah, we're just kind of like hustling right now, doing a whole bunch of stuff. Because there is adhesive and glue involved, I am gonna have to take this stuff into the garage so that I can spray all the trim pieces with the glue. It's the next day again. Uh, and this is gonna be our designated little workstation. First thing up on the list is this right here. These are the A-pillars. We did pick up some super trim adhesive, um, and then I did buy this 3M headliner adhesive. So this is primarily what we are going to be using. We already cleaned and prepped this. So now we're just gonna go ahead and attempt uh, the install. I laid down the suede headliner material and then cut it to size so that it properly fit the A-pillar. And from here, I sprayed the A-pillar and the headliner with a whole bunch of 3M headliner adhesive. And ladies and gentlemen, here are the final results, at least of the A-pillars. We still have the rest of the headliner to do, but here is how these turned out. So you can see fingerprints and stuff. You can make your own designs and stuff. I, I don't know, it's kind of, you, know, you guys know how it is. I'm gonna do a few more parts and I'll get back to you guys and keep you guys updated on how they turn out. This is the next piece we're doing. This is directly overhead where all of the pieces and panels connect into for like the sun visor and whatnot. So we're gonna do this. Seems a little bit intricate with all the little dimensions. Uh, and then onto the big piece, the big boy. The centerpiece was definitely the hardest since there was a cutout in the middle for the glass roof, but it was also the most rewarding at the end of the day. 
I used a lot of adhesive and I used Christina to help me lay it down. I finished everything last night. I just like knocked out completely. But here is the final result on the main trim piece. I have them all laid out right here. And you can see this is how it turned out. But we're gonna go ahead, load all the stuff up into the BMW. And then we're gonna head over to Vet Lab. Also, here is the final result on the fireplace. It looks a lot better uh, than it did. So good job, Christina. And just like that, we are back at Vet Lab. Here's all of this. And then we also had to put the back seats down to fit all of the stuff uh, in the back and the trunk. Let's unload all the stuff into the shop and get the stuff installed. I come in the back section and the boys are here. The boys are here. Fellas, how we Yo. doing? How we What's doing? Yeah. Bro, it's not every day that we get one, Josh Laurent in the building. Yeah, Ronnie, fire. you're here like every other day, bro. I, live, I, got, I, got, I got a bedroom here. You got a bedroom up front, but you, you brought your Lamborghini in here, yeah, bro. Yeah, I brought the Lambo in. Dog, this thing, is, this thing is wild. This is crazy. And bro, what was the first thing I said too? What? This you said, you said I, a couple things. I said, bro, what the hell do you do? Do you track this car? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bro, yeah, bro, no, that's from a rally, bro. It's crazy. Rally. You used to see my on windshield. Oh, God. I'm a little scared. I mean, I see the wheels. They just look just a little dusty. Yeah, hey, it'll just, be all right. It'll grow back. It'll grow back. <laughs> hey, hey, would you take this or are you going to take a pro-charged V10? You take, I mean, this is, is it naturally aspirated? Yeah. So you yeah. got a V10 already. Yeah. <laughs> so I just you're like, like how, like, this sounds so crazy straight piped there. Yeah. Damn, I don't you straight piped no, it? Yeah. I don't want to add no boost to it. Dog, like, that's this wild. this straight piped is insane. No sheep erase, nothing? Nah. <laughs> and then you got the Pro Charge V8. Yeah. Everybody's seen that, bro. All you guys saw that in the last video. It was fucking loud, bro. All right. Now for the most satisfying part, or other, I guess other than the finished result, my favorite part of... Bro, this, this, that was Ronnie's Corvette. I already know it. I don't even got to see it. That shit is stupid loud. My favorite part and the most satisfying part to me is unpeeling all of the masking tape from uh, what we painted. That is beautiful. This dude right here, bro, for no reason. You're crazy, bro. You're crazy. All right. Um, good thing that I don't need to hear you guys because I can't hear anymore. Um, but let's get this shit installed already. Wow, that was that was something. It's all. It's like every time I hear that, it's like it surprises me. Even though I've heard it like in the previous video and the, the video before that. We got the tripod for TikTok. So this trim piece goes in right here and it's gonna snap into place but the real good stuff is gonna be this large piece and then the front uh, a pillar i hate to do this to you guys i really do it's not gonna be done today either it's already been like three days it should not be taking this long i know however you guys i it's gonna be done in this video I just finished this section right here and it turned out really good. We're just waiting on this part right here. Um, however, I have plans for my birthday because it was like two days ago. Um, so I'm going out to dinner and I have reservations. So yeah, that's why, that's my excuse. Bro, this is great, this is great. How many YouTubers in one shot? We got one, two, three, three YouTubers in one shot. Look at this shit, we got one, we got two, we got three. I bet you guys you do, do YouTube too, don't you? You guys on YouTube? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Is it YouTube? Oh, my. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, oh, that shit's crazy. The neighbors won't be happy though. I'll tell you that. You Crazy, guys need bro. to cut that stuff out. <laughs> <laughs> this, is a, this is a well respected no, neighborhood. <laughs> hey, too many white people around. Too many yeah. white people. <laughs> bro, the G80s are growing on like massively. Like, especially in this matte black. Look at this interior, dude. That's fire. And we got a Porsche here, bro. Vet Lab is popping today, bro. Wow. Okay, I'm back in my car. On that note, 
I'm gonna catch you guys in the morning. Got the glasses on today. Wasn't vibing with the contacts this morning. That's okay. Um, we're gonna finish up the headliner real quick. Boom, just like that, we got everything reassembled. Now I just have to like reassemble the car kind of thing. I don't know what's going on here. Transform, no, not working. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to connect both batteries and then close everything up and then you guys get to see the final results. Wow, this, this is a bittersweet moment for me because <laughs> Bro just ruined the moment completely. I was trying to be a little sentimental here. <laughs> He's over there laughing at me. That's like his thing, dude. What I was saying, this is a bittersweet moment for me. Not only does this mark the end of the interior being finished, but it also marks the end of the car being done. I mean, this is it. This, that was the last modification I did on the car, and it's done now. It's officially done.